Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Berry Tone, and today guys I'm about to show you a tutorial how to play Metal Gear Solid 4 on the PC with the RPC S3 emulator. Now, since this game is so graphically powerful for the RPC S3 emulator, obviously you're gonna need a strong PC for this. And what I mean by a strong PC for this is like a a computer that has an Intel i7 i9 with the latest graphic nvidia graphic card which is a 20 a 2080 uh gtx ti i believe you're gonna need like 40 gigabytes of ram 4.50 gigahertz and yeah so if you're asking can this work on a pc with like a, a less build a lower build like a i5 low end pc type stuff uh, I made a video um, about that, testing it out. You guys can check that out in my channel or I may leave in the description down below of this video to show you how the performance wise, how it works on a lower end PC build. But if you want the best performance, I, I obviously recommend you getting a strong PC build with the latest parts, obviously. So. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'll leave the description down below to this website to rpcs3.net. Um, I'll leave the link a description below this video. Make sure you guys check that out. And when you get to the page, you're gonna press download. And you're going to have two options. Uh, you have for Windows and you have to for Linux. I assume most of you guys are going to have Windows because 90% of all computers have Windows. So you're obviously going to press download for Windows and you're going to need a seven compre uh, a compress a compressed zip file opener like WinWar or 7-Zip or any type. And after you're done downloading that, you're going to open up the emulator for the very first time. Down below this exe.
are all good on default so I wouldn't advise you to change anything else after that the only thing that you're really changing is in the GPU tab and after that you press save and after you got all three of your things set up which is the firmware installer which I show you guys how to do the configuration settings set up to the way you want them which I show you guys how to do and the path settings for your controller the sections how to set it up which I show you how to do now you're gonna need the game now before I show you where to get the game I need to make this disclaimer only do this if you have the hard copy or digital copy of Metal Gear Solid 4 if you guys have one of those two you have every right to emulate the game on the PC now if you don't have a hard copy or digital copy of the game I would advise you at all to be downloading games off the internet if you didn't buy them digitally or physically I do not condone piracy at all that's not what I'm about so I would advise you to download the game online I suggest you buy it and if you want to emulate on PC you can use this um, video guide to help you out how to do that but and also um the reason why I'm doing this is I know a lot of people don't want to jailbreak their PS3 just to dump a game off their disc because if you dump if you dump a disc game um dump a disc game off off your PS3 your jailbreaking PS3 after that the disc is basically useless after that you can't play the game on the disc anymore so I know a lot of people don't want to go through that hassle so that's the reason why I'm making this video basically so yeah you're gonna install the PKG and the way you do that is go to file and go to You click on this, you're going to copy it, you're going to close it, and you go to RPC S3 again, and you go to dev underscore HDD0, and I believe you go to home, zero, zero, EX data, and when you get here, basically you're going to paste it, after that, you're going to close it open up it RPC S3 again open up the exe minimize this and then after that you should be able to be playing the game so it's gonna stall something one more time and then the game should be booting up All right. Well it, well, it crashed. That's great. <laughs> but anyways, um, if you guys have followed the exact steps, you should get should be able to have the game 
um, booting up. Also, like when you have the game booting up, it's gonna install two more uh, molecules. I can't talk today. Um, molecules. Um, that's normal. That's usually normal. So when the first time you install it, when the first time you boot it up, you're gonna only see that probably one time, and the and when you boot up the game, you won't see that ever again. If you're trying to boot up like the second, third, or fourth, fifth, sixth, you get the point. So yeah, this is about to be the end of the video. If you guys find this video helpful, please leave a like, share, and subscribe if you guys are new because I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. And yeah, this is your boy Burytone, and I'm out. Peace.